travellers, oh gosh look at the sun, hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lalika. I'm just on my way home from work right now, I've popped into the post office because I brought in home and I'm like, oh I've, I've missed the post, I've I got a little Australia Post card, oh you can even see Australia Post, little box in the background there. Anyway, so I've roared down to the post office just before five o'clock before it closes and I've picked up my latest purchase from eBay. At least I hope this is what it is. I've been waiting for it. Um, it should be a chillo. So I'm going to take that home and try it out tonight. It's pretty warm where I'm living at the moment, just right on the Tropic of Capricorn. So I was like, oh, I've got to do some research. I've got to see how I can like be cooler trying you know without aircon because as you know everything's kind of expensive in Australia and well bills <laughs> do we really need to add to them one of those as seen on TV things so I'm not expecting a whole lot from this product I got it on eBay and it came from China so I think it was just under like three dollars free poster hopefully I can figure out how to use it so I'm going to show that when I get home now, this is not a sponsored video I purely bought it because it's hot and I'm not acclimatized yet to the heat. I need seven to eight cups of very warm water. One is complete. I guess I will do step two in four hours, so it's just before 6 p.m. I'm just gonna leave it sitting on the bench because that's what it says to do. It does seem counterintuitive that you would put warm water into something that is supposed to chill you, and it feels rather warm right at this moment. <sighs> Let's see what becomes of it. Alrighty, so it's 10 o'clock now, and four hours later I'm back in the same spot. So step two, I've got a roll the air bubble. So this step is just taking out all the airs. But I must say it's a bit cooler. She's going to put it in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes as recommended before I put it inside a pillowcase and then pop it into bed. It just says as long as you don't freeze it. So yeah. update, I've been using the cello for a week now and it's been great. Um, it really does keep cool for, I mean, definitely not all night. But for most of the night, I tend, once I fall asleep, then I'm asleep. But I have woken up a few times and gone, oh, what is this warm thing underneath my head? And just shoved it out the way and gone back to sleep. So that's one downside in terms of keeping all the goodness in. So I have not emptied it. It's maintained the same. What is irritating though is it's kind of scrunched up. So now <laughs> it's not flat anymore. And I don't know if it's just because of how I sleep on it. And because there's only the hole where you fill the water, in terms of being able to smooth it out, I've kind of just gone, ah. <laughs> I have been keeping it in the fridge so when I wake up in the morning then I'll put it in the fridge all day while I'm at work and then when I come back at night time and I'm ready to go to sleep then I will get it out of the fridge so that it is cool and that's worked beautifully. I will continue to use it though for the sake of how much it costs, great and for not having to turn the air conditioning on that's been a real bonus but yes I will continue to use it. Would I recommend it? Well, if you can be bothered putting it back in the fridge, which definitely does make it so much cooler. It is very cool to lie on then. It's definitely mobile. It'd be good to take to other places. And I have been sleeping with it in a pillowcase. Ah, look, the top on it, it's very, it's a wipeable surface, but I just find, I just prefer having a pillowcase over it. I think it's just, yeah, rather than sleeping on a piece of plastic. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and we'll see you in the next one.